Hello and welcome back to another video. It's me, Karashi, again, talking about some Gears of War. And um, today I have a, a little bit of a different video. So first of all, let me preface this by saying I do have some gameplay going on in the background. I remember it's about 16 minutes long or so. It'll probably be cut down after editing. But it was a pretty good gameplay, and I don't really know if I'm going to fill up that whole time. Most likely not. Uh, so just enjoy the gameplay. If I do finish early, I'll just let it play out because I, I do remember I had a pretty solid game. So I'm going to go ahead and leave that up. But in any case, um, to, as you can probably tell, I say this every time I record a video, by the title, I want to talk about being a teammate and what being a teammate means and how to be better at being a teammate and just in general how to work as a team because this is not just something that you need to understand in Gears solo queue or Gears competitive pro scene. It's something you really got to learn how to do in life. And, and I'm not trying to be all wise or anything, but I do think it's important to kind of learn from other people. You know what I mean? Like learn from other people's mistakes and just learn from other people's situations because learning from other people is always free. And, and there's a saying something similar to that, but I've always thought about that. Like if someone else makes a mistake, you can learn from that mistake for free because you didn't pay that cost. So being a good teammate, what do I mean by being a good teammate? Because I feel like, especially since we are talking about Gears of War, of course, people get a misunderstanding of what being a good teammate necessarily means. I mean, first and foremost, do you need to be good at the game? Yes, but that is also, in my eyes, not the priority. Yes, I want you to be good at the game. That is the fr I mean, obviously, we need you to be good, but that doesn't necessarily make you a good teammate right off the jump. So, what does being a good teammate mean? I think it takes a little of understanding of your teammates. You know, you need to know what you need to bring to the table, or you just need to have your own set of skills outside of game as well that bring, that you bring to the table. So, to me, being a good teammate means you know how to communicate, and I don't mean in-game callouts. Anybody can call out in-game, and first of all, a lot of people's in-game callouts are pretty atrocious. You need to be good at in-game callouts, so that's one thing. You need to be able to communicate in-game callouts, but also, you need to understand communication and in, in people, in life. You need to understand how to portray your message to your team to get the best results, to get the best learning experience out of your situation. You 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 know, if you if you get pissed off about a situation in a scrim or in a tournament, and the first thing you do is you say, Oh, we should have done that. You know what I mean? That I'm sorry, that's just improper communication. You are already gonna start tilting someone over the edge, or you're you're gonna make the vibes bad. Like, I don't know, it's just stupid, you know what I mean? Like you, you just gotta change that mentality. So Communication is really important in game, out of game, the precision of your call outs and understanding how you communicate, the way your tone, what you're saying specifically, what you're telling people has a really strong impact on that team. You know, you might tilt someone off the edge of the earth, man, with the way you tell stuff and then that team will never work unless y'all become proper communicators. So communicating is really, really huge. That's actually probably going to be <laughs> the majority of a single topic on uh, on this topic. Um, the next thing about being a teammate is understanding and respecting what y'all are doing. And I don't mean, I don't mean just respecting like each other's play or anything like that. You have to respect the, the grind. You have to respect the struggle. You have to respect the time that everybody's putting in. So if you say, Hey, you know, I want to be on it. We, we make a schedule. I want to be on at seven o'clock. We're going to play from seven to midnight, whatever. That's fine. Whatever. I'm just making up times here. You need to respect your teammates' time and also know that, hey, y'all are all doing the exact same thing. So if you can't make that time or if you need it bumped back or if something's going to come up, you have to do your utmost best to communicate that. So that way they can, you know, properly know why you're going to be late or why y'all need to call that day off or something. I see a lot of issues start because people aren't making scrim times or last minute, you know, they're, they're dipping out and stuff like that. And it's really, it can be solved by proper communication. It can be solved by just, um, you know, respecting each other's time and understanding that, you know, you're all doing the same thing, but you need to do it in a certain way that, that meshes well with the team. So that's really important. Um, I want to say being an, another aspect of being a good teammate is bringing a lot to the table. And I, and I already said that earlier, but you need to be a, a leader on the team. And I mean, everybody, I mean, you can have a designated leader, but you need to be equal 
in the terms of in-game knowledge. You need to be equal in the terms of strategy. You need to be able to equally, you know, keep up with your shot color or with what your coach is saying. Or, you know what I mean? Like, you need to be an equal contributor to the team. You have to say, hey, well, if we look this back, you know, if we if we take a step back at this situation, we could have done this, this, this. Instead of you know, just always going with the flow. You like, if you're not challenging what went wrong in the team, everybody, then you're not as helpful of a teammate. If someone else was in that position and constantly challenging why y'all did something, why it went wrong. So, you know, be a contributor, be someone that's going to, you know, step up and voice their opinion, make sure you're communicating it properly and, uh, make sure you're, um, you know, respecting what they're doing, respecting the way they speak, how they're talking and things like that. So, I mean, really, that's that's a lot of it for me. A lot of uh, the way I think about strong teammates and good teammates is really respect-based. You know, you have to be a respectful person so you can work together, you know. It, and that goes a lot with communication. I mean, the way you tell people things is really, really important. And uh, honestly, I could almost title this whole video uh, specifically about communication because it is just so important. People don't know how to talk to each other. And it, there's a, a weird impersonal like a barrier or bubble that goes around with playing games online like this because you're not in person. And, and definitely one thing you'll see is when people are frustrated with each other or a couple people don't get along online when they're practicing, they're screaming, they're communicating, that almost entirely disappears when you're on land because you're right next to the person. They feel so real and you want to be you know, close to them. You want to be a good teammate. You want to be bros. You want to be pals. And it builds a camaraderie that's really hard to achieve online. So that's one of those things that you can just work on just by being, you know, self-aware. And that's another thing I guess I can kind of bring up. Your self-awareness needs to be really high um, when teaming with people, when playing with people. Self-awareness is understanding what you did wrong or it's understanding you know, it's just, it's just self-awareness. I mean, I don't know. I don't even know how to explain self-awareness. Your self-awareness needs to be on another level because you need to understand what you did that, that upset someone, or you need to understand how doing something that you would have done could have upset someone. It's all about hindsight. It's all about understanding relationships and situations. It's about keeping the morale and the vibes positive and good and strong. And it's about always taking steps forward to learn. You don't need to win your scrims. You need to learn from your scrims. If you're losing scrims, you have more to learn than they did. You know what I mean? You have more to gain than they gained. So stop trying to win your scrims. Stop being bad at communicating. Start talking to people like you're sitting right next to them. Start respecting the time that they're putting in. Respect the struggle that y'all are both going through to try to improve. And ultimately, just do your best to be better than the person next to you, you know what I mean? Or the person that would take your spot if they were in your spot. So hopefully you take something away from this. I definitely have learned a lot of these things over the years. And I mean, I'm a team member in my job. I've been team members on competitive teams. I've been um, now a coach a couple times. And so it's just really important to learn how to properly communicate. It's it's important to respect people and it's important to, uh, to constantly be adding something to the table. You know, you always want to bring up new aspects, new ideas, new strategies, new thoughts. And even if you're just shot down, you know, it's no big deal um, because y'all can constantly go through that process together. And if y'all are all doing it properly, it's going to be beneficial no matter what. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this. I really, um, I'd like to make more videos like this, um, but we'll see. So who knows? It's just kind of like whatever comes to mind. So please do not leave without leaving a like, leave me a comment. Let me know what you think. Um, If you have any ideas yourself specifically on another video, let me know and I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.